So today's project is to widen the road, cut a field in the back, and clear the area around the camp. The vegetation along the road was encroaching uh, in so much that the vehicles were being scratched as he was coming and going. And the bushes are covered in this vine, which is prevalent across the state of Florida. From what I can see, or at least in the uh, central part of Florida, this vine is everywhere. And it really kind of makes uh, cutting new trails kind of interesting because it holds the bushes together underneath. And even when you cut the bushes at the base, the trees tend to stay in place. The bushes tend to stay in place. So you've got to go back and raise the cutter, drop it down on the vegetation, hopefully pull the vegetation down, and then put the cutter all the way to the ground and then grind it up and kind of repeat that process. Bomba Light makes that process pretty easy. It is a very heavy implement, but the 75 horsepower tractor, Massey Ferguson 4707, takes care of it pretty easily, and it'll snap it up pretty quick, and it'll also drop it straight to the ground if you let it. Uh, the interesting part, or the part that I'm really trying to pay attention to, is what am I backing into? A lot of times, the vines and the heavy bushes will hide things, and normally what I run into is palmetto stumps. I don't see those until it's too late, and then I hear the, uh, you know, the, the tracker straining to keep up as you come down on a stump, and for those of you that aren't in the area and know what a palmetto stump is like, it's very fibrous. It's not like traditional wood where you can take a chip out of it and it throws it away. It's actually a series or like an entire bundle of fibers that is very hard to cut for some particular reason. It just really holds together well, and the cutters are noticeably slowed down when you drop down on top of one of those or when you're slicing into one of those. The other thing is that sometimes the bushes that I'm backing into might be 12 to 15 feet tall. There could be a pine tree hidden in there and as fast as this thing will cut through trees like we're seeing here, sometimes you can cut a tree that you don't intend to cut and if the vines will hang on to that tree so the push bar doesn't allow the tree to get pushed in the opposite direction. That that tree can fall towards the tractor, which I have had a smaller tree fall on the tractor by accident, but uh, backing into that kind of vegetation, you really have to be looking above the vegetation to see the trees that are sticking above vegetation before you back into it. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can simply cut down trees or wound trees to an extent where they're gonna die and the homeowner may not like that. was able to get the roads cut, the trail cut, and everything in place. If you need bush hogging services or other types of tractor service, give us a call. I'll be glad to come out and help you.